Hey, it's Patrick. So I just got finished watching the Apple update on the iPads here in uh, 2024. And I just want to give you my initial thoughts, uh, especially coming from an animator's point of view, which I think, you know, a lot of people buying an iPad use the pencil and they're going to be the artists and animators that are going to probably want this the most. So I'm going to give, give some of my quick thoughts on what I saw. So basically they announced a couple of things regarding the iPads. So the first thing is the iPad Air. And uh, obviously they announced the iPad Pro, but I want to talk about the Air real quick. So the Air basically has a new 13 inch and I like that because I'm a fan of the bigger iPads. You might know I've got an old 2017 second gen iPad uh, that 12.9 inch and uh, I bought that used and it's still working very well um, for me and my needs especially with rough animator but um, if I were to get something right now like say that died on me um, the iPad Air 13 inches is probably what I'd be leaning towards right now and basically they put in an Apple M2 chip which uh, is the same chip I'm running in my Mac Studio oh, it's an M2 Max but still it's a really good chip so it should be good for years. And uh, another thing that I like is they put the camera, the front facing camera here on the side or you know when you have it in horizontal version like a laptop, then your camera's gonna be uh, in front of you. And, and I think that's a good move. Although sometimes you know I get FaceTime calls from people and they're on their iPhone. And so I like to have my iPad uh, vertical. But overall, I think it's a good move because uh, a lot of people use their iPads like a laptop these days. But um, including me when I'm animating Rough Animator, I've got it uh, in the horizontal uh, orientation. One thing that I thought was interesting about the iPad Air is it's actually thicker than the new iPad Pro. And it just seems kind of weird to me because like the Air is known for being like thin and light and now the Pro is the thin and light. And personally, if I was a Pro uh, getting the Pro device, I'd almost want better battery life. So I'd be happy with it being the thicker model but um, they kind of went in the opposite direction, which, you know, okay, it doesn't really matter that much, but just seems kind of weird to me. Oh, actually, before I talk about the pros, um, the 13 inch Air is actually, um, starts at 799, and that's a good price point here. Uh, and especially, I think it comes with 128 gigs of storage and a couple of new colors. So let's just say if I want to pick the 13, Pick a color and 128, and I just want the Wi-Fi version. Oop, I don't care about engraving. And then if I if I don't need a pencil, although let's think about this because the new pencil is something that they announced, an Apple Pencil Pro, so Pro Pencil for the first time. And it makes me a little confused about the pencil lineup, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But it looks like with this version, you could get the Pencil Pro here with this, um, let me just say no engraving. The Pencil Pro, I don't need engraving on the pencil. Um, or you could go with the, the USB-C pencil, which I'm not a huge fan of because it, it's, yeah, it's cheaper, but they took out um, a lot of features, including I think tilt. So if I throw in a pencil for 129, uh, the total should be here at 928. So, you know, you're pushing $1,000 uh, to get that new pencil. And what I don't know yet is if you can use like an old first gen Apple Pencil with this. I'm thinking probably not, but um, maybe the second gen Apple Pencil um, would work with this. So if you already have one of those, then you know for $7.99, you can probably update your, your system here. And I'm not a big fan of the keyboards. You know, I don't, I'm using my iPad more for drawing, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend a couple hundred bucks for that. But, so that's the iPad Air. Um, if we want to talk about the iPad Pro real quick, uh, personally, you know, I see that it's got the M4 chip, which is just, you know, their brand new chip and it's not in any other devices. So I think that's kind of cool. But, and then it's got some, you know, a pretty cool screen. They've got the OLED screen and uh, some other stuff, but it's just not, for what I do with 2D animation, uh, the this iPad Pro, even at the 13 inch size, um, wouldn't be what I would get. Um, basically, I just it's too overpowered for what I do personally, and it starts at twelve ninety nine. So from seven ninety nine to twelve ninety nine, if you wanted to get a big iPad, uh, you know it's five hundred dollar difference. So I personally probably would not go for the um, for the Pro, especially since you can get a brand new iPad now 
uh, at the 13 inch size from Apple for $7.99. And speaking of seven ninety nine, if uh, I went back and looked at uh, everymac.com at the old original iPad Pro, you know, twelve point nine inch version, and I bought this when it came out in two thousand fifteen, and it wasn't a great experience. Uh, there wasn't any animation apps back then, and you know, uh, pencil support wasn't that great. But one thing that I remembered was that that launched at seven ninety nine. So I think it's kind of interesting that the it's basically the new iPad Air at the big size is back to that $799 price point. So I think that's pretty good, and you know I'm glad Apple did that. And it's good that it can work with that new Apple Pencil Pro because I think a lot of people that want the bigger iPad are going to want that functionality. And I also want to talk about the uh, new Pencil Pro, which uh, starts at $129, or that's the price of it. Um, I like the the things that they've done to this. There's like the squeeze feature and the hover feature. Um, so I probably would consider upgrading to that uh, depending on my workflow. But, um, and the, it's got some other features that are in there like haptic feedback and the find my feature. Like if you, if you need it, if you can't find where you put your pencil. So uh, for 129, I think that's a good price point. The only thing is to me, the iPad pencil lineup is getting confusing. And I think that there's four versions of the Apple pencil now. So if we come over here and look at the accessories, uh, we've got the new Apple pencil pro of 129. Uh, there's also that Apple pencil USB-C that was announced like last year for 79. And I'm not a big fan of that pencil uh, because they took out some features. Here's the Apple pencil first generation for $99. I still have that uh, pencil because that's what works with my iPad. And then the fourth version is the Apple Pencil second gen for 129. So, you know, it's getting a little confusing on, on which pencil you need to buy. So uh, hopefully that gets sorted out and it'd be nice if Apple just had, you know, a basic Apple Pencil and then the Apple Pencil Pro. But it's probably gonna be a while before they can get to that point. And as for the iPad Pro, um, you know, I just don't, see the value in it yet but um you know i for my workflow it's probably not um something that i would get but if you were like a heavy user and, and there were some interesting things that they were doing with um with video editing and, and stuff so go check it out if you haven't seen the, the the video yet so there you know there was some interesting things that they were doing if you're on the video editing side of things where you might use that power but um, for my workflow, you know, I just don't think I would use it and I'd be okay with the air. And one other thing was they did a demo with uh, Procreate Dreams. And there is, if I go over their website here, there's a cool feature uh, within that app. Uh, here it is, I think. Um, so it's, they call it performing here. And this performing feature is pretty cool because you can animate in real time. And they, it's supposedly gonna be really good on the M4 chip. Now, I'm sure it works fine on M2, but uh, I don't know if that's like a pro feature only that, uh, you know, the way they, they demoed it made it kind of sound like it only would work on the pro uh, models. So that'll be something I'd want to figure out because this is a cool feature for animation where you can kind of animate in real time and not have to keyframe everything out. So uh, with that said, what are you guys like in the new iPads and which one would you get? Leave it in the comments. I'm probably not gonna get anything right now, but it is kind of cool that uh, Apple hasn't forgotten about the iPad and they are uh, giving us some new hardware and tools to use to make our animations. And one last uh, comment is the Apple Pencil Pro, I don't think it came with an eraser. And I think I was kind of, I was hoping that they would add that to it. So you can kind of flip your pencil around and use the back end to erase stuff. Um, if they announced that and I missed it, let me know. But uh, I don't think they did. And uh, I think that's a missed opportunity with the Pro Pencil. Uh, but maybe in next, the next version of it. But again, let me know what you guys think about the new lineup in the comments below. If you found this useful, click this video for more animation tips. Thanks for watching and keep on animating.